Hi, this is Julie Cohen, and I'm speaking with Marvin Chambers, executive coach and talent strategist for Three Minutes Max. Marvin, how do you define leadership? Julie, I've defined leadership as really around leaders taking those that report into them and helping them really to stretch to amazing, do the things that they didn't think were really possible to do. To me, that's really what leadership is in a nutshell. That's great. So what do you think is the most important characteristic of an effective leader? I think in this day and age and where there's, we're in a disruptive economy and there's constant change and people are really off kilter all the time because they got to continue to do more with less, et cetera, that the biggest thing a leader can do is really be vulnerable. Um, you know, there's a quote about vulnerability that says that, you know, is really the birthplace of innovation, creativity and change. And in this disruptive economy that we live in, we really need to really be our best selves as leaders, but also let people know that we're human and that we care. And when we're vulnerable, it allows others to be vulnerable, and then we can get the best out of them. In a world where there's all these things going on, we got to be able to do that in order to be as effective as we can be. So for someone that's, that's not their normal approach, like vulnerability sounds scary to them, mm. what could they either think differently or do differently in order to, to allow that to come out? I think what, you know, that's a great question. Um, there was really this exercise I've done recently that really helped leaders that it was really with a, an IT organization and they weren't known necessarily for, you know, being vulnerable. It was really about the technology. And it was a basic exercise where we asked everyone to share their life story. And through just sharing their normal story about just who they are, where they came from, how they became the leaders that they are today, they naturally, that vulnerability was naturally there when they started talking about their families and their experiences, good and bad, and it really opened them up to being able to share a deeper level of connection with one another, and I can already see them work better together and also with others, wow. right, because they've had an opportunity to kind of express their vulnerability and realize nothing happened. They're still here. They're still alive and <laughs> still going. It didn't kill them. So one final question. What do you think can derail a developing leader? That's a great question. Um, I think the answer is, is really not being in tune to who they are and what is their personal philosophy. If you're not clear on your philosophy in terms of, you know, what do I believe about work? What do I believe about life? What is my philosophy as a leader? It's hard to understand and know your voice. And when you're in situations where you have to make tough decisions – and you don't know that voice, you may not do and do things aligned with who you really are. And in a world where as an emerging leader constantly have to grow and do new things, and as you grow, you're going to experience new problems and more conflict. If you're not centered in who you are and what your voice is, that's where you don't make the decisions that are most aligned with who you are and most aligned to what you need to do to drive success in your organization. Wow. Well, thank you, Marvin, for sharing your expertise and insight for three minutes max.